Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at a very interesting beer. This is from Oma Gang. This, my friends, is their Game of Thrones tie-in beer, Iron Throne. It's a 6.5% alcohol by volume, Belgian-style blonde ale. And like I said, you know, Game of Thrones is a big show on HBO based on a really great series of books. I'm a fan of both, so I kind of had to get this beer. It was really hard to get, surprisingly. Sold out really quick locally. I got to give a huge thanks to Freddie over at Capone's Liquor in Chicago for sending it out my way. If you guys are in Chicago, definitely check out Capone's Liquor. Awesome stuff. So looking forward to this one. You know, Vondales really aren't my thing. I really just wanted to try this beer because it was a Game of Thrones beer. You know, just a very, very cool tie-in, and I'm really glad to see HBO went with a really good craft brewery rather than like, you know, a BMC or something like that. So let me get into the glass so you guys know it smells tasting. Give me the final verdict on the Game of Thrones Iron Throne. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Iron Throne, if I can get through this beautiful head. Wow, lots of lemon peel, a black pepper spiciness in there. Stone fruits, like a stone fruit skin, maybe a little bit of like a, a berry note to it. Nice dry maltiness and effervescence. Uh, definitely getting almost a little bit of lime in there as well. Just a really fresh smelling ale. All right, got some taste on the Iron Throne. Never thought I'd say that. Cheers. Oh, wow. Super, super refreshing. I mean, it reminds me a lot of a really great whipped beer right at the front of the tongue. Huge pop of spiciness. Again, that, that peppery, yeasty characteristic coming through, shining through, I should say. Lemon peel, lime, lime zest, uh, a little bit of like an orangey type of sweetness in the front of the tongue. Middle of the mouth, there's this great biscuity, bready maltiness. Uh, a little bit of like a subtle kind of underlying sweetness. They did use Grains of Paradise, so I'm assuming that's what that's from. Uh, playing, you know, perfectly against that peppery spiciness from the yeast and the lemon peel uh, characteristics. Just blending perfectly. Tons of beautiful, beautiful carbonation on this one to help move the flavors along throughout the palate. Gets you ready for the next drink almost immediately. Dry finish, aftertaste, more of like, again, a pitted fruit, maybe a little bit of like a, a pineapple flavor, a little bit of that lemon zest, a little bit of that underlying sweetness, subtle sweetness kind of coming in the aftertaste. Just a really, really refreshing, well-crafted, you know, simple Belgian beer. Just awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Game of Thrones Iron Throne, a 6.5% Blondale, available now, limited, so get it if you can. Guys, I didn't know what to think going in this one. I had I had a little bit of hesitation. I thought, you know, it's a novelty, but at the same time, it's an Oma Gang beer. I've never had a bad Oma Gang beer. They know how to make Belgian beers. Um, this beer is actually gonna get an A- minus for me. You know, it's a perfectly well-crafted Belgian blonde ale, super refreshing. Reminds me a lot of a really, really great whip beer. I think it's a little bit safe, but at the same time, I think they really wanted to do that to kind of open up this beer to a more mask appeal. You know, people are fans of the show, might not be fans of craft beer, and this is gonna get them in that direction. And quite honestly, I'm glad it's Oma Gang that's gonna introduce these people to it because they do a fantastic stuff. This is a really solid, refreshing, simple Belgian blonde ale, and I think it's one you guys should definitely check out because the subtlety in this one is what really makes it a really great beer. So with that said, getting an A- from me. And remember folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>